don't really want to make first impression videos because I don't think they are super helpful when making decisions on what to buy, especially when it comes to perfumes. Scent is so hard to describe. How can you inject the sensation of smelling into someone else's nostrils over a visual medium? It's not like makeup where you could say, hey, look at my face, look at how good it is. No, it just doesn't work without... It just doesn't work. Even when you're good at words and descriptions and maybe can pass on a symbionts of what works. But, we're doing one. This is a limited edition perfume and I want to give my opinion on it before it's gone and let others hopefully make a decision about whether a limited edition perfume is something they want in their lives. And today's perfume is... Bombshell Celebration by Victoria's Secret. All right, zooming in nice and close for this one. I adore this bottle. It is so elegant and a beautiful display piece. I have been attracted to bombshells. What do, what would you say this is? A hexagonal shape. Someone who knows geometry, correct me. I probably love this bottle even more than the original. Sale that I got this from includes this little pendant. So if you buy one, make sure you're entering the code to get your free little charm. I don't think it's worth the 10 bucks they advertise for it, but it adds a little more glitz to your bottle. A big drawback of this bottle just already, this ribbon it's not super easy to scooch it out of the way when you're grabbing it quickly, and it's just big enough that your fingers start sliding on it, so it makes it a little bit awkward to just pick up and spray this bottle. Not a huge deal, but I like to be nitpicky when you're paying. This would be $80 without the sale, not exactly cheap. But something that does look cheap on this bottle is if you zoom in real close here, let's see if it focuses. That's as good as it's gonna get. But you can see where the chain is kind of attached here and here. It's not like a seamless little piece and you see the edge of the ribbon and it just looks haphazardly put together. It's in the back, luckily, but it doesn't match the rest of the bottle. Also, having this little dot here, plus this strong, plasticky-looking top, not as good as the base of the bottle, either. I know it's nitpicky, but like I said, it's an $80 bottle. There's only two things you have to do as a perfume. Have a good design, smell nice. Speaking of smell, I had a strong reaction to what this smell is. It's not exactly the same, but I wanted to tell you a little story. I had to have been younger than seven. That's when my parents got divorced and we moved houses. I met a little girl when we still lived in that house and I only spent a day with her, but it's still one of those childhood memories that really just sticks with me because she gave me two items. One was a Beanie Baby that was a cat and it had its tag ripped off and the ear was split like a stray cats or sometimes clip their ears. And the other was she gave me a perfume bottle. It was one of those older fashioned perfume bottles with like the spray pump and it was completely removed of perfume. But when you sprayed the pump, you still got a whiff of the perfume that used to be in that bottle. Scent is such a powerful memory component. I still remember that scent so many years later, and it was just a one-off event in my life, but it is still associated with my childhood. This reminds me of that. Now, it's not the exact scent. I can tell you what the exact scent is. I found it years later in 
this. It's a hemp coconut fusion shimmering herbal body souffle. This is expired, so I can't do a one on by one comparison, but that was the scent. It was the scent. And that's why I want to describe this perfume as being like a memory on the tip of your tongue. There is a very reminiscent smell of just things that you have come across in your life. 100% this is a lotion-like fragrance. It is very light, elegant, not quite sweet, a little bit florally. It does remind me of like more Christmassy time scents, but it's not holiday at all. It's just those lotions that maybe have a little bit of that frosted smell. Whatever this is, it it definitely is a frosted lotion. Even the bottle says it's like frosted. Let me let me read this package real quick before I say too much. Snow kissed peony. So there's definitely that vibe in there and rose champagne. Accurate. It's not rose. It's a little bit champagne-y though. Florally. You get the drift. Just really, really, really lovely. I am surprised that this is going to be just a limited edition. I have no doubt it could be a very long-term good selling perfume. Now I can't tell you too much if it's related to the original bombshell. The original bombshell fragrance. I have never actually smelled that one in person. Despite it, you know, being supposedly a number one bestseller in 2020 across the whole of the United States, which I am currently in. Yeah, haven't smelled it. They didn't have it at the last Victoria's Secret I went to when I was smelling perfumes. But we do have this little catalog that came with it, and it happens to have a little scent block for you to try bombshell and I'm gonna say this straight up champagne the just loveliness of this perfume bombshell celebration is way better than the original bombshell said it it's great way better than whatever scent block that is so that leaves us to would I buy it again? Yes. It was a blind buy for 80 bucks because I had to buy the other one too. Would I do it again? Yes. Is it probably worth buying just for $80 without the buy one get one free sale? Probably. That's a bold statement for me to make because I am stingy with my money in a lot of ways. It's a great perfume. Almost said good. It's great. Let's go with that. Absolutely lovely. I am rambling on a little bit. This is why we have structure and ratings at the end of the video so I can shut up. Or I could just stop talking and say it's worth buying. I don't know how long it is going to be on the website so try checking it out. Here's me spending half an hour on my makeup and then not changing the camera settings because I'm lazy. Woo.